So recently I've been running into a lot of problems with legacies in Fallout 76 and I personally don't think that they're fair and something should be done about them. First off, what is a legacy? Legacies are something that is no longer in the game. So for example, we, we will be talking about weapons. Um, so the most common legacies are the explosive elemental weapons. Um, and they're also the most powerful because they're removed from the game for essentially being too OP. So, for example, things like explosive cryolators, explosive gatling plasmas, things like that. Removing something from the game for being too, like, overpowered, that makes sense, but they're removed from the drop pool, not the actual game. Meaning that the people who had them before got to keep them, but let's say new players who actually are, like, trying to get one and grind for them, they can't actually get them. So let's look at a different legacy, which is um, double guns, which is a primary effect that basically doubles your magazine size. Um, keeping this weapon in the game would make sense because it is severely worse than the legendary effect quad, which is kind of like made to rebalance double because double wasn't as good um, as like any other legendary effect. Um, they simply updated and balanced the effect, making the double not viable for like any build because it's like just like half as powerful. Um, this makes sense. But what doesn't make sense is basically removing something from the game for being too powerful, but then you're going to keep it in the game. So first of all, the whole idea of a legacy, I don't really like that, um, because new players will most likely never get a legacy, lim limiting them and making it so they would never truly have like the top build, because you can solo boss fights and just a few fusion cores if you have an explosive gatling plasma. Now, legacy weapons wouldn't really be a problem if the game was strictly PvE, but having something like a legacy in a boss battle would actually really help you a lot, especially for like for new players. Um, but the game is also PvP, and majority of PvPers, like competitive people who PvP, use legacies. So as you can see in the background, I use a commando build, um, and I don't have any legacies myself. So I'm gonna tell you a story. So I was just chilling with three of my, three of my friends, and then this guy started to kind of attack us and just be rude. Um, two of my friends were low level, so I just fought back with my fixer, um, and I destroyed him. Like, there's really no other way to say it. But then he got out his little legacy, and there's really nothing I could do uh, because obviously the fixer is not gonna win against an explosive Gatling plasma. And the Gatling Plasma is especially good because it has the Beam Splitter mod, which basically makes all of your bullets go in like a like a big area. So you can just spray and pray, and it's actually glitched as well, um, to where your bullets actually do more damage and not less. So, yeah. So basically what I'm trying to say is that if somebody has a legacy and you don't, chances are you're not going to win in a PvP fight, and that is just kind of unfair in my opinion, especially to new players and people who are actually like trying to play the game normally. Now you're probably saying, why don't you just go get a legacy or a trade for one? That brings me to my next point. No one really wants to trade them away or sell them, um, especially for caps. Even finding them to trade, most people are going to want other legacies. So it's also really, just really hard to do that anyways. And if you do find somebody who actually does want to trade, the, trade away their legacy, most likely they're gonna scam you unless you do it off of like something like really 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 legit um or if it's somebody that you personally know a few days ago i actually got scammed um trying to trade for a legacy and i've been playing fallout for around two years now um as you can see in the video on this character i'm level 300 and i have uh, another character too so in my opinion legacies just aren't good for the game uh, the only people who really like legacies are the people who actually have legacies because it gives you a superior advantage over over any really normal gun. Um, and if you, th if you thought that they were bad already, they're actually buffing them by buffing energy weapons. So the top tier number one gun is getting a buff, which that really does not really make sense to me. Um, this goes to show how little Bethesda really cares about their community. Um, this has been said multiple times by like other YouTubers. But they're just kind of like trying to work the community. They would rather put out, you know, a new $20 cam bundle every week and then promote Fallout First and make it almost impossible to play without Fallout First. Things like the Scrub Box, Survival Tank, just like things like that. Um, instead of actually like fi fix day one problems such as.